What is up guys? Dan back here, the craft brew dude. We're at it again. What do we have today? Looks like something kind of sticky. <laughs> but really, let's get after this one. We have Shorts Brewing Company out of Elk Rapids, uh, Michigan. Shorts Brewing Sticky Icky American Indian Pale Ale. So, had this one for a while. Um, I get all the shorts I want in the state. I live about an hour outside of um, Shorts Brewing. So I've been there before a couple times, been to some big events, and it's always a good time. Um, let's crack this one open and get after it today. By the way, Shorts Brewing, thank you very much. Represented by Imperial Beverage. They gave me this for free. Greg's beer review would say that's a nice hiss there. So, you know what? Let's get a little smell on it without the without the glass. Yeah, it smells um, kind of dank, kind of earthy, piney. Yeah, it's real piney, really. A little, a little dank in there, a little pininess in there. Let's get a pour. Hmm. Yeah, real nice golden honey color. Um, quarter finger of head. Um, carbonation looks nice. Bubbles rising to the top pretty rapidly. Um, almost looks like a lager head on top. Real clean, crisp. Looks like the head's really just dissipating, honestly. Doesn't look like much is going on besides... Um, some medium-sized bubbles kind of compacted tightly together and then spreading apart and disappearing. That's what we got going, guys. Let's get a little smell from the glass here. Yeah, more pine. Getting a ton of pine. Does have a, like a, yeah, sticky. It just seems to fit. You know, you're almost getting like the marijuana sticky um, THC smell in there and that's kind of what it does resemble to be honest so let's uh, let's get after I don't, I'm not getting any um, citrus really out of there maybe just just a tiny tiny in the backdrop that's it nothing big um, let's get a nice little uh, taste here cheers guys shorts cheers Joe cheers Yeah, lots of pine. I'm getting a lot of pine in this one. Um, pretty hoppy, um, decent bitterness. There's definitely some bitterness in there and um, tiny amount of citrus in the back. Not a ton at all. Let's get one more taste. It's, it's not bad. I mean, I wish it was a little bit more balanced. Um, the pininess kind of over, over hits your palate and submerges on your tongue. Uh, the bitterness sits on the back end and it does finish kind of um, sticky, hoppy, and uh, bitter. But this, I, wish, I wish there was a little bit more citrus in this, guys. I mean, to be honest, um, the name's fitting for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I would probably want more citrus, in my opinion, to, to shine through in this one. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're into West Coast styles and you like the pininess and the bitterness and um, kind of more dry finishes, then yeah, this is your type of beer. But for me, um, it's good. It's not great. It just it's just subpar for me, guys. It's it's a cool label. I think it's pretty awesome, and I like shorts, but. Really, their, their beers are hit and miss for me. Um, not that they, do, they don't do great things, because they do, but uh, this one has a little bit too much pine for me and not enough citrus, and it finishes a little bit too much bitter for me. Um, I'm going to keep it short and easy, guys. Um, shorts Brewing, and what I didn't even look at the alcohol content on this guy. It looks like it's... Uh, man, does it not say? 
I know that this guy was pretty fresh. I, I, I got it pretty recently, so it's not too old. But I do not see a alcohol percentage on this, guys. I guess if you see it, just let me know. Or if you know what it is, let me know. I could just look it up on Untappd, but I'm not going to go that far. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. This beer is pretty good. Um, I would want a whole six-pack. Let's leave it there. Uh, Shorts Brewing, Elk Rapids, Craft Brew Dude, over and out. Thanks, guys. See you around.